Yo, what up, YouTube, YouTube? Hope everyone is having a great day. It's your boy, Pedro Bear 97 coming at you with another Honest Wax review. On today's sesh, we have some more of the 710 Labs Live Rosin to try, and we decided to get the top top. We have the tier one, Bad Apple number seven. Uh, this is my first time, I believe, trying the tier one. I think I've only tried the tier two and three before. I decided to go out and get a little... Yeah, a little something, something. It was a daily deal on Friday. I think I got this 15% off. If I would have went on the next Friday, though, it would have been 30% off. Big shout out to Sun Valley Caregivers. Um, moving forward, let's go ahead and start uh, reading about this strain. This is Bad Apple number seven. This is the genetics for this would be Fatso and Sour Apple Killer. I've tried Fatso before. I've never tried Sour Apple Killer. Um, with a name like this, though, I would be I'd be lying to say I'm not expecting some apple terps. You know, I'm not too sure how that will hit, but you know that is what I'm looking forward to with the tier one from a widely known brand to be top shelf. I'm expecting some top fucking shelf. You know, that being said, our manufacturing date was on January 4th and packaged on the 11th. Uh, so this has only been chilling for a month. That's good to hear just because supply and demand uh, is being proved right there. So moving forward, this has a THC measurement of 782.91 milligrams or from my understanding, 78.29% um, and a CBD level of 1.61% or from my understanding, a 0.16% CBD level uh, might be wrong, might be one percent cbd i don't know my percentages like that i'm just trying to link over what i've seen but that means said let's go ahead and open this up open it like a wedding ring beautiful ogs make better og you already know what they be how they be what they do dab at low temperatures for ultimate experience shout out to you if you're a motherfucker that's taking dabs at a thousand degrees r.i.p your lung shout out to you because you're savage but i know there's people out there like that I'm, i don't agree with it just because i want to smoke until the day i die and I'm expecting the day I die to be sometime in my my 80s or 90s. So that's why like I love to low temp. Uh, not only because you get the you know, better flavor, better potency, just because it is ultimately healthier to 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 go that route, that go that strategy. So, you know, it's these little papers that you know might be saving people's lungs. So that's pretty cool. OGs definitely make better OG. Shout out to the Intel. Um, yeah, we have live rosin bad apple number seven tier one this is one gram right here the last one i did was a two and a half gram i got hooked up on that one that was a great gram honestly uh that was a tier three i believe and phenomenal so with this tier one right here i'm expecting some fire i've had some other of 710 labs products in the past i've had a a tier two and a tier three um, one of them was water hash. I was not a fan of the water hash just because of the way it burned in my nail. But that being said, we have some live rosin in here. So I'm expecting some fire fire. Let's go ahead and crack this open, yo. Oh, just broke that and broke this sticker. Oh, and looks like we got some diamonds right here, yo. These smell stinky, yo. Good, stinky good. I feel like that's the fat so I'm smelling a lot of. But yeah, this smells phenomenal. This looks phenomenal. This looks like some shards and stuff, dude. Yeah, that looks that looks top, top, top. Smells good. Let's go ahead and taste it, yo. We're dabbing at 449 degrees. I like to keep it at 450, but you know, the email will be fluctuating. Uh, when I dab, it sometimes it dips to 430, but ideally 450 is where we're at. Anything above 500 is becomes toxic from my understanding. I don't know the full science behind it, um, but I, I have, you know, scratched the surface a little bit. And ideally, it's just not good to be burning at too high of a temperature. So one thing I did hear as a recent, I'm someone who's been smoking at 450 degrees, but I did hear that the 320, 350 range might be the most ideal spot. Now, expect to milk that rip 100% more than what you normally would because the lower temperature is going to obviously last longer in terms of uh, the the load that you use. Uh, but it's going to take much longer to vaporize it all as compared to the higher temperature. So just prepare to rip it a little bit longer. But I did hear that. So, you know, maybe on the next video, we might try uh, turning it down or we'll make a, a dab response video with different temperatures and see how that goes. That being said, let's go ahead and try some of this bad apples. Um, number seven, this is pretty much breaking like crystalline. I got a fat ass fucking rock right here. Who doesn't like a fat ass rock? All the Tyrone Bigums of the world are excited at that statement, I think. And these rocks are like bending and shit too. I'm not trying to break one. It's like folding. I'm wondering if I should just take a fat ass fucking glob. This looks really nice. I like how this looks. I think I might just fuck around and indulge in it, you know? This is a lot more than it was necessary. I'm going to take a little bit actually. 
Like you could, I could, but I feel like it's a waste at that point. Like I'm not trying to prove anything to anyone. I'm just trying to enjoy my high. Now, don't get me wrong. I've definitely released one gram videos, two gram videos and attempted a three gram video. So I would happily, you know, do it if my ego felt compelled enough. But that's just not the case right now. So let's just enjoy this. This is a fucking fat ass gram with some top shelf. This right here is already a little bit of an overindulge. So let's just enjoy this. And uh, that being said, let's get these globs going, yo. Cheers. Yeah, I'm really considering this, man. That's it's at least like a point one right here. Point one two. Ooh, cheers. some good stuff yo Ooh, that's some good stuff so let's get down to it we have our appearance test i feel like these rocks look amazing we're already gonna make this a 10 out of 10 the consistency of this is phenomenal taste let me not focus on the taste it looks amazing uh they're they look like rocks they don't break like rocks so they're very conveniently easy to pack uh pack dab of that's pretty nice in my opinion it's always kind of bullshit when you try to pack a dab of some THC diamonds and, you know, you break a piece and the other pieces go flying or, you know, maybe you don't have the firmest hand. So, you know, you know potentially you shake a dab off and you drop a dab. I hate that. So that being said, this consistency is flawless. I feel like um, it highlights the, the color really nice. Uh, I didn't even speak on that. I've been speaking on like the way it looks mainly. I feel like you can see some of the, the turps shining back at you even in this form. It has a nice gold white finish and um, yeah, uh, this is a 10 out of 10 in terms of uh, look, in terms of smell. Pretty stinky, you know, the fat so is pretty strong in the, uh, the gasoline turp, the foot turp. If I had to say that there was an apple in here, it'd be very, very minimal. Perhaps that's why it's called a bad apple because of the fatso terps give it the the gasoline and stinky smell and a bad apple in my head is correlated with a rotten apple. So perhaps that's why. But obviously rotten apple uh, potentially already taken potentially just doesn't sound as good. I've had a I've had I've reviewed rotten bananas on this stream before by um passion flowers that one was pretty good but you know i will say that name itself is not very alluring so perhaps that's why it's called bad apple that being said the smell of this is still very enjoyable i feel like i smell that and it lets me know that this is a pretty powerful thing so uh that being said the smell is going to be an eight out of ten for me there's obviously other smells i enjoy more and uh, this one doesn't you know eight out of ten in my eyes is like a b this is going to be one that's that's heavy for for medicinal use and in terms of like nighttime medicine most likely just because i know fat so is a heavy indica i'm not too sure about sour apple killer but smell the smell is heavy on the fat so side and you know like i said eight out of ten then we have the taste i felt like the taste matched it perfectly i'm inhaling that and i'm just like bro this is some strong stuff bro so you know we're gonna match that in terms of the rating uh, eight out of ten as well and then the potency the potency is pretty strong I liked it. Uh, I feel fucking high as fuck right now. Yeah, I feel like you could see that in my eyes. I think we'll rate this a nine out of ten. Felt like felt like I felt this in the back of my head, moving down my spine. Still, probably should have spoke on that one a little bit earlier, but you know, I feel really good. I feel like my ears ringing a little bit, so that's good. And I'm sure I'm gonna get higher as you know time goes. So the potency for this one, I think I said nine out of ten, but I'm I'm gonna change that to ten out of ten. This is actually a really good one. Shout out to Seven Ten Labs, yo. They don't miss. Uh, so the overall for this gram, I would say is a nine out of ten, just because we have a little bit of a, we have we have the appearance of ten, we have the, the smell and flavor at eight, both of them, and then the, the potency at ten. So I feel like that middle ground is the nine. Um, overall on this, that was a really good one. I got this for about I want to say sixty or fifty bucks. I forgot to be honest, but I know I got it on discount. So. Make sure you always take advantage of those discounts, y'all. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you hit the link tree in my bio. Connect with me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, anywhere. And uh, appreciate you so much for supporting my videos. PagerBear97 is out.